What's up y'all? So today we've got something super exciting. So about two weeks ago, I saw Graham Stephan post a video giving his girlfriend, Graham's girlfriend, a money quiz. So now we are here with Kylie and she's about to take the same quiz and we're gonna see how she does. You Just nervous? Just a little uh, preface, I know zero things about money. <laughs> I know how to spend money in an online shop, but that's about it. So, um, this will be really interesting. <laughs> I am excited. I'm nervous. I know I'm gonna get a zero. So, there's six questions, and Kylie was double majored in biology and, what was it? Oh, health science studies. Biology and health science studies, but she decided that that's not impressive enough, so she decided to drop one of them, just do one single major like us common folk, and just do a master's in biology. So, she's very smart, but does it correlate over to finances? I don't think so. We will see. <laughs> First, let me take a guess at what I, how I think you're gonna do. Let me scroll through these real quick. Don't let me see. I'm gonna cheat if you put it right there. Okay. <laughs> You'll miss that one. Probably miss Are that one. Are they multiple choice? Multiple choice. Okay. I think I can get two. I think you can get one. <laughs> okay. So question number one. What are the three major credit bureaus? A, Capital One, oh Bank of America, <laughs> and JP Morgan. Okay. B, Deloitte, KPMG, and Ernst & Young. C, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and Sally Mae. D, FICO, Moody's and Fitch, E, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, F, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. First, I thought, uh, I was gonna say IRS. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and that's not even on the list, so now I'm confused. Um, credit bureaus, I mean credit cards. Can I ask questions? Yeah, you can ask questions. So, credit bureaus are, it's asking who are the three bureaus that basically make up your FICO credit score? B. Oh my. C, D, 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 that's my final answer. D, final answer? O for one. No! Okay, so originally she put B, Deloitte, KPMG, and Ernst & Young. I know Deloitte is big in money. Yeah, but, so Deloitte, those are accounting firms, so, <laughs> no, close. And D, final answer, FICO, Moody, You said and FICO! Fitch. Yeah, I thought that might give it away, um, but, so it's three that make up your FICO. So FICO is made up by TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. E, final answer, over one, okay, off to a good start. Now this one. So I'll, I'll be honest with you, I got this one wrong. Oh no. So, but it's true or false. So okay. you've got a good 50, shot. 50 50. And actually, 51% of respondents answer this correctly. So I guess I'm the minority hey. for getting it wrong. Yeah. Okay. True or false? A 401k refers to a tax credit for retirement. Um, well, my parents help me with my taxes. <laughs> So, I'm going to go with, can you repeat the question? True or false? A 401k refers to a tax credit for retirement. False. Hey! Really? Yay! Yay! She's a genius! <laughs> okay, one for two. Yes, that is false. Nice! So I put true. Cause, Dummy. So, the wording on it, I don't like this question. So a 401k, <laughs> you get tax benefits from investing it. So you invest your pre-tax dollars. So yeah. to me, you have tax advantages when you invest in this, but I think the word tax credit is where they trick you because credits, eh, eh, I don't know. I guess technically it's not a tax credit, but whatever. Sue me. I guess I'm an idiot. Um, but you're a genius, so that's good. Comes naturally. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so, okay, one I just for gotta two. get one more and then I beat your expectations. Yeah, that's good. 
That's good. Okay, of the following, which best describes APY? Adjusted price for inflation, A. B, annual rate charge for borrowing or earned by an investment. C, annual rate of return accounting for compound interest. D, annualized principal payment amounts. E, annuity payout per year. F, automated payment. I'll let you look at those. Annuity payout per year. Why'd you guess that? Because APY. <laughs> Cause the you see I don't the, even know what annuity You see it a lot is. when you look at like high interest savings accounts, and it's basically like 1.5% APY, and it's basically just the amount that they'll pay you in. So was that right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Annual rate of return accounting for compound interest. Then why would they call it APY? That's just dumb. So they could have put annual percent yield in there to make it easier, but they put annual rate of... They did that on purpose. Oh, that's definitely tricky, yeah. Um, so, one for three. Not bad. I'm learning. True or false? Income does not impact credit score. True. False. True. True. What's your final answer? Uh, income does not affect credit score. So basically, does it impact your credit score or does it not? Do you think it does? I think it does not. Yeah! yeah! Income does not impact your credit score. Can we pause for a second? Yeah. Ah! Please don't put one eye. Ah! That was in my eye. I don't know if you can see it. She is so brave. Okay, so yes, uh, two for four so far, doing okay. good. That's pretty um, good, 50%. Income does not impact your credit score. You could make 50 grand and have 800, or you could make a million and have 600. Basically, it's do you pay your bills? Do you That's what overspend on your credit card? Do yes. you? There's a lot that goes into it, but you can be really good with money and make 50 grand, or you can you can make a million dollars a year and you could not pay back your <laughs> loans, you Just could kidding. not pay your credit card off. According to their answer, it's your payment history, amounts owed, length of credit history, types of credit used, and how many new credit accounts you can all can all impact affect your credit score. Cool. So Good to know. what does a CD offered by a bank stand for? A. Capital deferment. B. Certificate of Deposit. Oh no. C. Collateral Default. D. Collateri collateralized Discount. No. E. Commodity Dividend. It's A or E. I feel like I'm on the right track. <laughs> hey. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay. Two for five. No! It's Certificate of Deposit. Oh my god, that was the one that I thought, absolutely, that's they're trying to trick me. It's too Cause simple. Because it sounded too obvious. <laughs> that's like a receipt. Oh wait, did I read F? I didn't even read F. Credit dividend, that's another option, but that wasn't it. No, that, you didn't even read that's F. That's not it anyway, so I gave you, I gave you a better shot at guessing. Still okay, it. so you're two for five. You got a chance to get 50% right here. Yay. Okay. Great. What's the difference between a savings account and a checking account? Select all that apply. Oh, God. I hate these. The yeah. Multiple, multiples. So, I, um, I actually got this wrong because yeah. I only selected one. I did not read the select all that apply because okay. I do not do things by the book, apparently. A, only savings account, earn interest. Could you at least tell me how many I need to pick? 
two. Okay, A B. <laughs> that's a really, that's good. That's close. E is checking the account are designed for regular use, but it's also F. Savings account are designed for investing long term. See, I don't really like this question. I don't, I don't really well, look at I a thought savings. Only savings could earn interest. Um, I think nowadays there's checking account. I don't know. I think I make like one cent of interest in my saving in my checking account. I don't even look at it. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Cause. I don't really, I'm not super interested in that's the one sad. penny, but, um, I'm going to give myself half point for that. Yeah, no, that's good. I'll give you that. Because, I got two points. Because I only, I only picked answer E because I didn't read that it was select all that apply. <laughs> um, so my fault. Um, but I probably I wouldn't have selected savings kind of designed for investing long term anyway, because I don't really look at a savings account I as know. an investment account, but so this one, it's kind of up to how you view it. So, Viewer discretion, I say yeah, it's only E. We're going to give you a point. We'll say, eh, whatever. So, yeah. 50%, not yeah, bad. Yeah! Not bad. Pretty good. Um, I bet I'll do better than Tim. I think it says <laughs> 97% of people failed this, so don't worry about it. Oh, You're that great. counts as failing. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah. No, you failed. But you did good. Three out of six. Yeah, that's a lot better than I thought I But did. now we're going to compare Kylie to my roommates and see how they do. I'm a smart money girl, I'm a smart money girl. Contestant number two, Tim Boswell. Kylie got three out of six, so loser. I don't know what the loser has to do, but we're gonna figure something out. What are the three major credit bureaus? Can't read. Just don't touch this, because the answer's um, right. I thought it was gonna be like judicial executive. <laughs> <laughs> so the first ones, I was like, those are banks. <laughs> Uh, major credit. The government branches. <laughs> I didn't think they'd be like executive, credit cards and banks. legislative. It's not F. No, maybe not. FICO is a credit score. Moody's and Fitch sounds like a subsidiary of Abercrombie and Fitch. That's what I said. <laughs> nice. So FICO though. Fannie Mae is something. I hear that a lot. But Freddie Mac sounds like a a spin-off. Deloitte, KPMG, Ernst & Young are accounting. I'm gonna go with F. F. Visa, MasterCard. No, I was, I was kidding. No, that was your final answer! No, it's, 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 it's A. No, 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 I was kidding. It's B. It is D. It's D. <laughs> <laughs> this is worse it's than E. Yeah! He does not get that. He does not get that. You do not get credit for that. One for one. Okay. okay. The reason you hear Fannie Mae a lot is because... So Tim works uh, for a real estate developer and property manager. So Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are types of real estate loans. You um, too? Sally Mae, I think, is student loans, actually. Um, but okay, so Tim is over for one. <laughs> Not bad. Hey. Next okay. R.I.P. True or false? A 401k refers to a tax credit for retirement. Well, I mean, you could have a 401k and you can have it pre-tax, or you can have it. It just depends on if it's a Roth or a tax credit for retirement. It's a savings. It's for investing. But a tax credit? True. False. Damn it. I got. I said true too. Yeah. I. I don't like the wording on that. I already explained what my thoughts on it. I don't think it's. I think it's weird because you are. You get tax advantages from investing in four hundred one k. But I think the word credit is where they yeah, throw you off. Yeah, that's where I was messing with. Me. Um, it's kind of like a trick. Okay. Of the following, what best describes what APY is? I'll just let you read through it. Um. I want to say annuity payout per year, but that seems too easy because the acronym actually lines up. But that's what they want me to think. So I'm going to say E, annuity payout per year. Wait, you just said, wait. I, I said that's what they want me to think, but I'm going to backtrack and de defeat my own mind. So you think they're trying to trick you, but they're trying to trick you into tricking yourself. So yes. you're going to go with the simple answer. Sorry, man. God. It is the compound interest. That was my next guess. So I am like, I'm like one to three if you add up halves, halves. Yeah, one of three if you add up halves, but over three if you do it. True. True or false? Income does not impact your credit score. False. True. Yeah. 
true. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I have to, I'm a visual test taker, you know? Yeah, I, I completely get it, man. <laughs> Over four. <laughs> Over four. Okay, so you, if Tim gets these next two... Oh, wait, no. Even if he gets the next two right, you still... I win! Well, there's other people, so... Okay, that's true. There's still two more roommates after this. Okay, you should get this one. I have the utmost confidence in you. What does a CD offered by a bank stand for? Why would I know that? <laughs> oh! I... Run it back. I accidentally looked at the answer. <laughs> you Over oh, five. <laughs> that what counts was it? I want to see if I was going to get it. You won. I was going to say certificate or deposit. Ah, uh, of course. Of course you were. What is it? Final question. All the pride comes down to this. What is the difference between a savings account and a checking account? This one seems so easy, I'm going to find a way to get it on. It's going to be so embarrassing. Wait, select all that apply. The savings account can be used for automatic bill pay. I don't, I don't use this. I think of it like a debit card, where it's just two different little pools of money, but one of them you spend, you know, like you're checking. <laughs> so why are you laughing at me? What's automatic bill pay? Oh, paying bills automatically, okay. Brilliant. Uh, B is applies, C applies, and E applies. Close. Can I scroll? Yeah. B does not apply and C does not apply, but E does apply, so... It's only E and F? I will give you half credit on that. So I got one and a half. Yeah, that's what Kylie, Kylie got one and a half too. Total? No, on this. Oh. I got half a point on no, that. No, I made a one and a half in total is what so I got. So basically, <laughs> you got... We'll say you got two questions right. Well, you really, no. didn't, you really didn't get the other one right. Technically, I got zero. Okay. <laughs> but well, we'll say you got the CD half right because we'll take your word for it that you were gonna guess that, and we'll give you half credit for six. So you got one out of six. Well, thanks. That was the money quiz, and it was quite fun. I beat Tim, so I'm happy. Any final words? That's not a true test of finance, financial. Uh, well, I thought it was fun. I will link the quiz in the description if you guys want to try it. Uh, see y'all next time.